why I bought an SP-404. Because when I come to a set, all I have to do is bring this. What's up squad? It's me. It's Sarah. It's time to do... Oops. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> What's up y'all? It's Sarah. Thanks for watching another video. I wanted to first thank everybody for watching my last video and commenting on where you guys are from. I didn't realize how much of or how big my audience was or how broad my audience was because a lot of people that are watching my videos are from around the world. So shout out to you guys. The list of people, like the list of countries or places that people are from just to kind of just go off of what I'm seeing. So a lot of people are from Florida, a lot of people from Dallas or Texas in general. We got people from London, we got people from Germany, Denver. There's a lot of people from Chicago. Shout out to y'all. I need to make it to Chicago. Wisconsin, we got Finland, we got Paris, we got North Carolina, shout out to Durham, we got Raleigh, we got Charlotte, we got New Bern, we got New Mexico. This is crazy. New York City, the Netherlands, San Jose, Sweden. Yo, we have people that is from like Johannesburg, South Africa, like places I don't even know where this is. This like shout outs to you like shout outs to you guys like for watching all the way on the other side of the world thank you so much it means a whole lot because i'm here in raleigh north carolina i'm just chilling out here i'm out here in the south so it's really nice to see people outside of where i'm from even like argentina like that's crazy like you guys are awesome like straight up like thanks for watching straight up thanks but today i wanted to actually go into detail about why i purchase an SP-404. Someone in my last video asked me to uh, kind of go into detail about why I even purchased it versus, or even why did I choose to sample for my SP-404 versus continuing to use my machine. Because in my last video, if you notice, I was making a beat in my machine and then I actually transition to use this to actually sample some some vocal samples so someone asked me why did I do that so I wanted to go over why and last night was my first show in Raleigh at Neptunes <laughs> with with the roundhouse crew <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for showing some love for me and, and allowing me to do a show out there. But when I was out there last night, it kind of gave me the idea of making this video because when I was at the set, it reminded me why I purchased my SP-404. Just a disclaimer, I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna disrespect anyone or seem like I'm making it seem like my set may be better than someone else's. <clears throat> I just wanna make it clear that I'm a beginner. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just learning. I'm figuring out what makes me happy and what I actually want to do so um, I'm going to talk to you guys about my my beat journey but last night when I was at the set there was four producers two of them had well me and um, another producer Trandall we both had SP 404 SX on the on the table there was two SP 404s that was just on the corner of the table and the other two producers they had um, like some Akai MP something that they had with their um, Ableton Live setup. So they had their beat machine, they had an audio interface, they had their computer, they had their charger for their computer. And that took up the whole table. That's the main reason why I purchased an SP-404. I wanna go to do a live set and I only wanna bring this. That's it. This and my cables and that's it. You know, I don't wanna bring my computer with me. So I want to talk to you guys like why did I even purchase this? Let's do it. Boop. So back in college, probably like six years ago, I was getting into like music production. I used to work in a recording studio. I would see the, the producers use Pro Tools. That's the industry standard for recording music. And I was fortunate enough to have some engineers give me the software to put on my computer. And I started to make little small beats. I actually purchased something called a, um, a NPK 25. 
it's a MIDI keyboard and it had some drum pads on the corner of it and I'm gonna show you guys a picture of it when I purchased that I wasn't satisfied with how the drum pads felt I, I went to Guitar Center and I saw the machine on display it was out for demo and I actually fell in love with it and the price range was affordable so I saved up the money to get the machine when I purchased it which was almost three years ago I didn't know what to do with it so I actually didn't really use it for almost up to a year after I purchased it and I kind of told myself you need to, to, to focus on making beats and like at least take 30 days and focus on it to kind of build some skills so that's when I actually started getting serious about making beats and it was probably two years ago so when I started using the machine I would make my beats on the machine it's this right here of course it's a hardware based and software based production tool which is really great I really enjoy machine it's really like the it's changed everything for me. Down, down pack, it's, it's helped me kind of get to where I'm at right now. But the issue for me with machine, I actually used to start, when I first started using the, the machine, I would make my beats on the machine, but I also used to do um, finger drumming. I was getting really into doing that, and if you can see my, my first videos on my YouTube channel, I was doing a lot of that, and I started to want to do sets, like multiple songs, but I noticed that my computer would actually run really like slow and um, it would lag and it would just make a very bad experience for me as a live performance performer. It would make me, I had a bad experience as a live performer doing the, the, the finger drumming because of my computer. I started to re do some research and look at other beat, beat makers and live performers, live performancing pro producers. Uh, I can't get my words together. You know what I'm talking about. So I came over, you know, to YouTube. I watched some um, some Dibiashi and some. Actually, before I even saw his videos out here in Raleigh, there's like a, a beat scene. So there's a lot of uh, producers that actually I would see them use this machine. I didn't know what it was, and I was kind of like, "What the hell is that? That shit's ugly." I saw Brass Monk, Oak City Slums, Trandall, Zumo use this this beat machine, and I was very interested in what what it did. So I did research online, and that's when I saw Dibiashi play his set on the Boiler Room. Ever since then I've always been interested in purchasing it or at least trying it out. My goal was to, to start doing live performances but only bring one piece of equipment. That's this right here. The five reasons why I purchased this is one being that um, specifically the SP404SX because there's two of them. There's an SP404 with you know just an OG, it's the original. And then we have the SX. The difference is the original one um, has a, a memory card, like a one gigabyte memory card that's like, that's not compatible with our computers. It's like you have to buy an adapter and it's only like one gigabyte of storage. So this guy, the SX is it's more, I guess, faster, and it also has an SD card. So I can just pop this out, put it in my computer, and there's a Roland um, SP404 software that allows me to load the songs up to each individual pad. Let's talk about what this actually is, because some people wonder what this is. So so this SP404, it is a, a, a linear, it's a wave sampler. <laughs> and um, what that just means is, this little box allows you to sample inside of it multiple ways. One being that you have a micro microphone in, so you actually have a microphone inside of this SP404. I can hit this button and it records my audio. But I actually have a microphone that I can plug into and I can actually record anything. Um, like I said, I have this SD card here that I can load my, my songs or different samples. Um, also, I can record directly from like a guitar, my bass, my um, vinyl, my record player. I can record directly into this. Um, I can actually plug my phone up to this and record from my iPhone. So literally, you can record anything. So the sky's the limit. So so you can record into it. And then there's there's 24 effects on here. And the, each effect is just amazing. From reverb to tape echo to BPM looper down to uh, vinyl sim. Like everything is just, it's, it's, it's crazy. And on top of this, the, the other reason why I, I, um, I enjoy having this SP404, you know, like I said, the I don't have that on my computer. It's got an SD card. 
I really need you guys to tell me how you feel about analog versus digital. For me, what that means is when I record something on my computer, it's digital and it sounds, it sounds digital. It sounds like it doesn't sound as dynamic or as, I don't know. There's something about hardware. It's something about analog. It's something about how it sounds. It just sounds more, more real or more authentic. I just don't know how to explain it, but when I record into this, it just sounds so much more better than I would record into my computer. And I guess that just has to do with the fact that this is an analog or a, a hardware base. And I'm starting to learn more about that. So I'm interested in purchasing more um, hardware, like synthesizers versus purchasing VSTs and, and actually software on the computer. Because it, it doesn't sound the same. It doesn't sound as great to me. I'm learning learning more about my ears and what sounds good to me. Because when I record like a like my bass or like um, or vinyl, it just sounds more authentic. It just sounds better. It just sounds thicker and warmer. It's just great. It's just something about it. So the like I said, the the five reasons why I enjoy having this is because one, it's got an SD card. Two, I don't need my computer, which is like the best reason. Oh yeah, you can have batteries in here. It's portable. So many effects on here. You get to sample anything inside of it. And on top of that, the best thing is that it is fun. So I enjoy my SP404. Like I said, it's, it's no disrespect to anybody that uses, you know, their beat machine and their computer during sets. It's just like, I'm not trying to bring 10 different things to a live set and then also have issues with my computer or have to invest more into a computer. Right now I can't. So like right now I'd rather just have this, kill it, leave, and that's it. I wanted to ask you, if you were stuck on an island and you can only bring three musical related instruments, what would it be? For me, I would bring this SP404, my record player, and I would bring my record collection um, so I can actually listen to records. So what would you bring? Tell me in below if you guys had only could bring three things to an island and got stuck there and wanted to make beats, how would you do that? And what would you bring? That's pretty much it. I wanted to just tell you guys about why I bought an SP404 and if you guys have any more questions, put them down below in the comment section. I may have forgot to say things, but for the most part, that's pretty much it.